We welcome you back to CBS Sports Network. We are flashing up the overall event standings. This is a big weekend, back-to-back three-day weekends, both here in Sioux Falls and next week in Billings. And that means there are points, points, and more points, partner, that are there for these Cowboys. Yeah, and you can't stress just how important that is for these guys, whether it be that you're trying to stay on tour or you're one of those upper guys that's trying to win a world title. This is a guy that is not only trying to win a world title, he has made no secret about the fact that that's all he'll be satisfied with this season. He comes in roughly 250 points behind Chase Outlaw. But let's be frank, Jose Vitor Leme has not been the same guy the past few weeks as the Jose Vitor Leme that started 2019. Yeah, and that's what's so amazing to me when you when you rattle off those numbers that he's only 250 points back because I think that he's really been struggling, you know, not only on bulls that go away from his hand, but he's had some difficulty with bulls going into his hand. So he's still right in this thing. And against Medicine Man, it looks like the Brazilian has found his proverbial spoonful of sugar because Leme is going to celebrate. That's really good, too. Check out those numbers. 90 and a quarter. Worth every point. It, this is the great thing about Jose. We talked that he's been struggling on bulls, bulls specifically that go to the right. But he's such an exciting rider that when he does hit the mark, it's big. Already more rounds than anyone so far this season. And he is now poised for his sixth round win. Right away, we check in with Claudio Montagna Jr. And his dismal season continues. Yeah, Claudio, you know, I talked a little bit about Jose that had been struggling of late. Claudio's at a whole different level yeah. right now. And, and, and for me, it's with his head, both mentally and physically, because when Claudio's in it, Man, this guy can really, really ride. But you watch his head. It always tells the tale because he picks it up and he loses sight of the bulls. You can see he's, his line of sight is not with the bull. We mentioned Cole Baba's struggles earlier. Montagna Jr. now only four of 19. Let's go back to the success of Jose Vitor Lemmy. He's standing by with Kate. Jose, I know you're a bit frustrated over the last couple weeks searching to make the whistle. When you get 90 points, how does everything just turn around? He said that you're facing difficulties these last weeks, that you were trying to make it until the 8 seconds, after you took 90 of this, how does that change your mind? Another mind. I'm very happy to have been able to do my work here, to have come back to meet me in the stores, and I hope to continue to give continuity to this work here and try to win the next ones. I mean, that's, that's a great score to turn everything around, just kind of meet up with them bulls again. I think I'm huh? just hoping to get another great bull tomorrow and finish this job and uh, kind of start back on my track again. On the right track. Well done. Thank you. Craig.